Welcome everyone to the Art of Sealing podcast. My name is Roberto Nacarado and we're joined here today with my colleague Paulo Aruda. Paulo, thank you very much for coming Hi. on board. Thank you. Uh, hi, how are you? Very good. Paulo, we're here today to talk about the difference between nitrile and neoprene. So mm -hmm. we want to look at the similarities, we want to look at their differences, and we want to look at typical applications for each compound. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so let's start off with the similarities. And I think the one that's the most evident is that the color, well, they're both black in color. Yes, indeed. Visually, the, the parts are look the same, the material look the same. But uh, also, uh, the Duro is very similar, is available from 30 to 90 Shore A. Um, elongation properties is very similar also. And you have the working temperature that can go from minus 30 F to plus 220 F. So very uh, similar properties, yeah. Very good. So that's the similarities. What are the main differences you can say between nitrile and neoprene? Well, in um, let's say for flame uh, applications, uh, nitrile is not a good candidate uh, uh, for that. But neoprene with some additives, uh, you're going to be able to have a very good material to perform under these conditions. Um, in terms of ozone resistance, uh, nitrile is also a bad candidate uh, for that. You want to consider a neoprene uh, uh, for it. And uh, for oil um, uh, applications uh, or hydraulics, uh, in this case, nitrile will be the best uh, candidate in there. Uh, neoprene is something that will perform very bad on that. Very good. So, Paul, you, you've been with the company now for 16 years. You're currently mm. the operations manager here at Elasto Proxy. So, with your 16 years of experience, what are the typical applications that you've seen for nitro and for neoprene? Mm. And we'll start off with the nitro. So, what's a typical application for nitro? Yes, because the nature of the material, very good uh, for um, hydraulic uh, oil applications, everything uh, that is related to the f uh, fluid seals, um, uh, such as the O-rings for um, uh, hydraulic uh, uh, seals. Um, for neoprene, you will consider uh, for gaskets, uh, anything that is uh, uh, where you're looking for good mechanical properties, uh, weather resistance, very good on that as well. So. Very good. Has it ever happened that a customer decided to use nitrile instead of neoprene or vice mm. versa? And most of the time when we see that is because we see customers are, are uh, bound or constrained to certain budgets. And in this case, neoprene is much cheaper than nitrile. So mm -hmm. has that ever happened before? Well, we have uh, an example of uh, where there was a um, uh, gas, uh, not a gas, but a hydraulic uh, tank application mm. uh, where uh, we had to, uh, the customer wanted to use neoprene instead of nitrile. So we did uh, the, the cut and it ended up, uh, because of the contact of the hydraulic, uh, end up degrading the material. Uh, the material was swelling and failing on the field. So they had to replace everything, which is very costly. So they should have used a nitrile product, uh, ni uh, nitrile uh, elastomer that would perform very well on that. Very good. Mm -hmm. Paul, thank you so much for taking the time yeah, to be on the Art of Sealing podcast. Yeah. And to those that joined, thank you so much. And we hope to see you soon. Thank you.